null injector error. No provider for the injectable class. You'll encounter this error when you attempt to inject a service without declaring the corresponding provider. In other words, your code is attempting to use a dependency, but Angular has no way to find or inject that dependency because there is currently no provider pointing to it. But what is a provider exactly? Think of it like a prescription for a medication, where the prescription is a provider and the medication is an injectable service. What the error is telling us is that we're trying to use a medication that has not been prescribed. There are two places we can address the issue, the injectable decorator or the provider's array in an ng module. In either case, a provider is composed of three main pieces of information. First, it needs to know where to make the class available, like the root of the application or a feature module. And second, it needs a token for locating that class within the dependency injection system. The token is the class type that has been decorated. In most cases, the token will be the same as the class that you want to provide. However, it's possible to provide a third piece of information, like use class, to provide an entirely different class, or use value to provide a raw value. Let's start by taking a look at a couple of common examples and quick fixes. Then we'll take a more detailed look at injectors and providers to understand why this error happens at a more fundamental level. In our code base, we have a service decorated with injectable, but currently the service has not been provided to any ng module within the application. When we attempt to inject it in the constructor of the app component, the result is the null injector error. The error message itself points to the offending class, now, there are two main ways we might address the issue. If we want to provide the class throughout the entire application, we can use the provided and root option. That'll provide a global singleton that can be used anywhere in the application and clears the error. However, that may not always be the optimal solution. In some cases, it may be more efficient to scope a service to a feature module, and that can be achieved by providing an ng module class as the provided and option. That makes it possible to exclude this code from the app's main JavaScript bundle and lazy load it when it becomes needed to improve load time performance. That's ideal when you have a service that's used by an individual module. But what if a service is required by multiple lazy loaded modules? In that case, you may want each module to create its own instance of the service. That can be achieved with the provided and any option. Instead of a singleton, this option will instantiate a new service for each module that injects it. And one other option to also be aware of is provided in platform, which is relevant to projects that use multiple Angular applications on a single page, such as web components with Angular elements, for example. Provided in platform will make the service available to all applications on that page. In total, that's four different ways to provide a service. Root instantiates a singleton for an entire Angular app. A module class provides a singleton for just that module. Any provides an instance for each module that injects it, and Platform provides a singleton for multiple Angular applications. Now it's also worth noting that you can provide a service directly in the ng module decorator. Import the service you want to provide, then add it to the provider's array within the ng module decorator. This pattern also creates a provider, however, it's generally not the preferred approach because it makes the code more difficult to tree shake when a service has not been injected anywhere. Now, in many cases, you may encounter the null injector error from a third-party dependency or one of Angular's built-in modules. For example, imagine we import the HTTP client into our app component, then inject it as a dependency in the constructor. That also throws an error, but you might be wondering why something built into Angular would not have a provider. There are only a handful of minimal services built into Angular core. Almost everything else is isolated in its own module. What that means is that in order to use the HTTP client, we need to import its corresponding ng module in the module that depends on it, which in our case is the app module. And we do that by adding it to its imports array. Now that we know how to fix the issue, let's talk about injectors. When Angular is bootstrapped, it creates an application-wide injector. Its job is to create and manage dependencies, and it does that by maintaining a collection of providers. Each provider contains a token, or class type, that tells Angular where to find the injectable value. In most cases, a provider is created with the injectable decorator. When that class is then referenced in the constructor of a component, for example, the injector will use the provider to find the existing instance of that class or instantiate a new one if required. Every dependency needs to have at least one provider, and that brings us to the root of the null injector error. If there's no provider, it just doesn't work. Let's go ahead and recap. When you encounter the null injector error, it means a service was injected without the necessary provider. The first step is to find the offending class. 
If it's one of your own injectable classes, you can provide it in the root of the application or provide it in an ng module. If it's related to a third-party dependency, you're likely missing an ng module import. Determine where that service is provided, then import the corresponding ng module. For additional details and examples, check out the dependency injection guide in the official Angular documentation.